vom Papa Israel. Ist es ein kleines Trouble? Look down the kindness from heaven. Take your clothes and come to me. And provide whatever is necessary for you. So it is free and is graceful. And bring to maturity to me with your right hand as no letter. Indeed, the heart is to carry it, but the labor is not for you. We ask that you have all of your harvest. Send the labor to your heart your harvest. But we are like your poor man, we can clean and enjoy, so that the walls of Jerusalem will be built up. This is your house, Lord God, this is your house. Let not be there be in a vacuum. It will not storm with the most holy hand, as no slave is there. Let us have been your name, to whom you have called. In the name of truly holy, amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In the splendor of Christ, the risen from the dead, has shown my people the name of my love. Alleluia. O God, you are my God. For you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body finds for you. But I dwell in water without. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength in your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I kneel to the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips pray you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our work give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. Our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing our hymns of praise to the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise the Lord of all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heaven, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. The star of heaven, bless the Lord. It will shower in you. Bless the Lord. All you winds. Bless, bless the Lord. Fire and heat. Bless, bless the Lord. Cold and chill. Bless, bless the Lord. Dew and rain. Bless, bless the Lord. Frost and chill. Bless, bless the Lord. Ice and snow. Bless the Lord. Nights and days. Bless the Lord. Lights and darkness. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Lightning in clouds. Bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord, praising the Son of the Lord all forever. Mountains and hills, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. You springs, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. Seas and rivers, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. You dolphins in all water creatures, bless, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. All the birds of the earth, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. All you, all you beasts wild and tame, bless, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. You son of men, bless, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless, bless the Lord. Praising the Son of the Lord all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananayan, Azariah, and Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord in the firmament of heaven. Praise the Lord in the Lord and exalt him above all forever. Alleluia. The Lord is risen as he promised. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker, that Zion's son exalts in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with trembling heart. For the Lord the delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the people rejoice in, it, in the glory. Shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, 
in a two-way show in the hand. To deal our vision to the nations and punishments on all the peoples, to buy their kings in chains and their nobles in fetter of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truth of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. Give the glory. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to the people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. And today I pray for Anna who passed away. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mysteries in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race. So dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your sons, who lives and reigns with you, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the, cap the captains of the temple guard, in the, in the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people in proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They lay hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe in the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and the scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Ananias, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into the, their presence in question them. By what power or by what names have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people of, in elders, if we are being ex examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he, had, he was saved, then all of you in all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name this man stand before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. 
The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day of the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us life. The, the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's son, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and go into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. <coughs> Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the nail over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciples whom Jesus loved, so the disciple who Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tuck in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we continue here a story about Jesus' resurrection. And this time he uh, revealed himself again uh, in uh, Galilee Lake, Galilee Sea. And when Peter and some Jesus disciples go to fish, but they cannot uh, catch any fish. But at the morning Jesus appeared to him, to them, and uh, helped them to catch fish. It's uh, very interesting that only John, he, he, he recognized immediately about Jesus. I think John very close to Jesus, and I think he is the first one recognize him, even when he and Peter ran to, to the tomb, the 
empty tomb and when John see um, everything there and he, he immediately recognized Jesus resurrection and today also he, he uh, when he, he see the miracle about um, catching fish he recognized Jesus immediately and he told Peter that of my our, our, our teacher and yeah, and I think John very um, um, very quick to, to recognize Jesus because he he very close to Jesus <coughs> his disciple and uh, today we hear about a uh, number uh, 153 kind of fish um, <laughs> they just a simple I when I um, when I studied theology and my teacher said in that time uh, they think only one 153 kind of fish and uh, when John write this number here I think he he had had tension about he, he had idea that church will be all the nations, all the kind of fish, because uh, Jesus' disciples be the fisher, and he, they will catch uh, not fish, but man, <laughs> but human. So this whole of nation over the world will become Christians, in, go into one nest, one, one church. So that is simple and very nice when uh, St. John write it here for us and for our Catholic it means for everyone, for all people. So here is a, one of the, the story uh, he said about that. Um, also John theology um, very nice um, in, in the first in the first time of church. So today I think we we continue to pray for for our church, <coughs> for our being Christians in our world. Um, always recognize Jesus when we when we see someone else because they are Jesus' image. We can see them um, in different way. Let us pray to God the Father who gave us new life through the risen present Christ. Lord our God, through mighty words have revealed your eternal plan. You created the earth and you are faithful in every generation. Hear us, that Father of mercy. mercy. Purify our hearts with your truth and guide them in the way of holiness. So, so that, that we, we may do, do what, what is pleasing in your sight. <clears throat> Let your face shine upon us, that, that we, we may be free, free from sin and filled, filled with, with your identity. You gave the apostles the peace of Christ. Grant peace to your people and to the whole world. situation. Uh, we pray for all of us safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who ask us and for them to God, especially those who are <coughs> sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. John Coonan, Donna McKen, and all Vincent's and member who passed away before us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And we also pray for people who help us, pray for them. We pray to the Lord. 
Do Hello. not hear our prayer. Let's pray for all the government leaders and all those who have in special uh, position that they be mindful of those who are more that are under their authority that they be able to provide all the dead needs. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Merciful Father, may you hear our prayers and our petition today and grant us what we beg you. We pray all this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <coughs> may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Perfect. Within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these Paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Pascal's joy, every land, every people just in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Glory, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he will be betrayed and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection. 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember the Lord your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on our soul, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, in the unity, unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and taught by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe for all this stress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, fully and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, you take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I know worthy that you should enter under my roof. I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This was the first time Jesus had shown himself to the disciples after he had risen from the dead. Hallelujah. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the old his word for our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous to his side, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. He the compassion of our God, the Lord of our God shall break upon us, to shine on those who rear our face in the shadow of death, and to lay our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be forever. Amen. So we pray for our protection in the time of pandemic. O Mary, you, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. hope. We entrust ourselves to you, help, help the sick, sick who are the cross to part in Jesus' pain, while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need. We, we are confident you will provide for us as they cannot in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the divine physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who are dying. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are attending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us to model the divine life of love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carry our sorrows, so as to lead us to the cross, to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Under thy protection, we seek refuge from the Holy Mother of God. In our being, he supplies not our petitions, but deliver us always from all dangers. Glory us and bless the Virgin. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The mercy and the show of peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you married to bear, alleluia. Has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us, O God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. Because the Lord is truly really risen, alleluia. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, granted joy to the whole world, grant we beg you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may lay hold of the joys of eternal life to receive Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Have a good day.